Facts. <sighs> Hey Forum, Manny back here on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station. Not really, I'm at the Sony Soundstage with the lovely Emily Haynes. Hi. 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 Uh, Hi. <laughs> thank you for doing this, I appreciate it. Yeah, likewise, I'm so glad. Lovely. The world of fragrance, who knew? It's all new to me. Yeah, and the thing is, it is new. Like, we seldom see bespoke collaborations like this, and I just want to know, like, why now, if anything, and why House Matriarch? Um, so I had the most amazing experience on tour with Metric where I came into my backstage uh, in Seattle and there was this gorgeous presentation there for me. This is several years ago. And it was all of these beautiful scents, Trillium, Orca, um, Black Number One, all of these House of Matriarch scents. I'd never heard of House of Matriarch. And this beautiful note from this woman, Christy Michelle. And uh, I was really struck by the quality and the character. I don't know anything about fragrance other than what you see in like airport duty free, you know, and I always have found it a little cheesy to be honest, like just the branding and stuff and the celebrities always like lying around somewhere, like looking mm -hmm. like they smell good. But at the same time, I'm really responsive to scent and I really, I really care about it, but I've never felt like I found something that was being made that sort of fit what I thought was valuable about it. So I had the idea because I love the name House of Matriarch as like a diehard feminist. And uh, so I finally, with like all my friends saying, you got to do it, when I put out Choir of the Mind, my solo album, they were like, just reach out, man. Just ask her. And she got back to me right away. Turns out she's a huge Metric fan. Like she seriously knew her trivia and stats. I was very impressed. And we started a really intensive process of going back and forth, several series of questions, different, she sent me to all different locations, like to Palm Springs, to for Joshua Tree, and then to LA. She sent me all her different scents for me to work down, checklists, all this very methodical work to arrive at Siren. So it was an amazing journey. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, because uh, with something like Siren, obviously it's a very, very collaborative process. Mm -hmm. Can you speak about Siren? What are the people going to expect from this scent or what should they expect? Uh, well, I felt very strongly that I wanted it to be a genderless scent. I think that that's another sort of part of what has sort of pushed me away about conventional fragrances or commercially manufactured fragrances, along with all the chemicals, which we don't have, and the animal products and the crazy like nitro musks and like weird stuff you've never heard of. Um, so this is all natural, obviously, and it's a very pure concentrated perfume. But I really wanted it to be something that isn't saying like, this is feminine and this is masculine. It's more like this is sexy AF and like why, you know? <laughs> it smells different on different people. I tested it on guys that I'm friends with and on different girls. It just speaks, it speaks differently and it's more just like a beautiful scent with the amber and the rose and all the and the cedar, like all of these elements that work together harmoniously without it being a girl scent or a guy scent. Is it any way low-key inspired by your latest album, Choir of the Mind? I think everything is. I mean, I definitely, when I was listening, when I was rather going through the process of, of testing all these scents, I laid everything out. It was quite ritualistic. Laid everything out, really focused, put on the record and tested each scent and you smell coffee in between each one to sort of reset your palate or whatever the equivalent is for your nose. It was kind of like tasting wine or something, you know, completely new to me, really cool. So I know that that's how Christy works is she's really influenced by the music she listens to. So, and actually she said that the composition of scents is very much like music. There are bass notes, heart notes, which would be like the major minor and top notes, which are your melodies. So I really came to understand that when she walked me through and educated me in the making of the scent. So. Yeah, no, I can definitely get with that. And uh, speaking of music, uh, as a result, you are actually burning Palo Santo at your shows in the near future. Yeah. Uh, talk us through that, if you don't mind. Well, actually, it's the, uh, we made a companion incense called Dark Forest, which is a lyric from the song Legend of a Wild Horse. But the dominant scent there is Palo Alto. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, and we mixed in a few other things. We refined that one as well too. So that will be the scent that's filling the room mm. uh, when you when you come to my shows. That the tour is starting tomorrow. Crazy. Lovely. <laughs> I was gonna say Palo Alto. That's in California. Sorry, Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Right? Yes. You know, I was gonna say like I feel like I need to double check my facts there. Palo Santo. It's all good. Yeah. But hey, uh, if you guys don't already know, you can pre-order the scent if it's not already sold out. That being said, Emily's Choir of the Mind. Check her out. You already know who she is. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And I'll see you shortly for a review. Take care, guys. Oh, man. 
Well, that was neat. So, Siren, where do we start? Honestly, Forum, Siren is such a lovely, spicy, floral, sandalwoody, rosy type scent. Now, note wise, at first glance, while you think it may or may not come off too feminine, in my personal opinion, I feel like it comes off as fairly unisex and fairly crowd friendly at the same time. Crowd friendly, I'm not so shocked at with this House Matriarch offering, but if you are familiar with this brand, you would know that some of their high level natural perfumery scents kind of lean, unconventional, and avant-garde. So the fact that this bridges the gap between what they typically do and something that can attract casual noses, I think is brilliant. Of course, the scent is done in collaboration with Emily Haynes, so you have that kind of market for them to tackle with, and I think they did an awesome job. Opens up fairly spicy and rooty, but it doesn't go stanky whatsoever, which I appreciate. Kind of just eases you into some of the lighter florals and heavier florals in the mid and base. There's definitely a good percentage of rose oil in the heart as well as iris, and I love how it doesn't come off as perfumey, if that makes any sense. Like it's definitely powdery, but it's not enough to like choke anyone out. Just comes off as ethereal, interesting, mysterious. Like if someone were to walk by with the siosh of the scent, I would definitely be pleasantly surprised and I'd probably turn around. As it begins to settle into skin scent territory though, we're talking amber, sandalwood, a little bit more of that rose. And that's where it becomes more of a comfort scent. So if I spray this in the daytime, I'm going about my day. I might go out for lunch or something like that. People are getting whiffs of the flow off of me but when I'm at home it's gonna be more subdued and more cozier with cozier base notes like sandalwood for say and yeah overall it just blended harmoniously I am so over the moon with how this came out so shout out to House Matriarch and Emily Haynes for making this happen I know this is steep evaluation wise but it's a price you pay for more natural oils in perfumery rather than less expensive synthetics from various perfume flavoring companies so if you're a fan of the finer things in life but something that's still going to capture some attention Definitely check this out. I can't emphasize how much more borderline and unisex this is as well as being super casual for casual noses. So metric fans, broken social scene fans, Emily Haynes fans overall, if you're searching for an entry level natural perfumery scent done at a high level, this is probably the place to start. Again, if you're interested in this, I'll leave the links in the description below. No, I wasn't paid to do any of this, but for the sake of full disclosure, yes, I will ship this compliments of House of Matriarch. So thanks for making this video happen. And again, thank you for making this scent happen because again, I love it. I look forward to seeing this stuff on top five and top 10 seasonal lists in months to come. But with that being said, I believe that is it for me today. Thank you for tuning in to this very special episode of Cascade Scents. If you learned something new or this video put a smile on your face, please be sure to subscribe and like this video if you've yet to. So until then, thank you again for the ongoing support as always. Take care, peace out, bye. Wear your fragrances.